public setting defiled by an act of rage. The brutality is something that I haven't seen since. All hell kind of broke loose in my mind of what do we have here. At first, the killer manages to elude authorities. But their commitment to bringing him to justice leads to groundbreaking forensic techniques. Now we had this great tool for our forensic evidence. Skin cells, saliva, blood. 10, 20, 30 times more DNA. But will the evidence they find be too little too late? If something like that happened to one of my daughters, I would want the person who's responsible to pay for it. In 2013, another technological advance enables investigators to take one more run at solving the case. I was at home one evening watching the local news when a program came on that showed a new type of DNA extracting tool, which was called the MVAC system. Like a mini carpet cleaner, the MVAC system sucks up DNA evidence from broad porous surfaces. They go over the item that they want to test and the DNA is lifted with some sterile fluid caught in a filter. I thought, why can't we use this on the rocks that were located at the scene? It's worth a shot. I then contacted Sorensen Forensics again, and they just so happened to have an MVAC machine at their laboratory. We decided to retest the rock where we found the partial DNA and also to test the two additional rocks that were never tested. Those rocks are granite rocks. Granite rock is extremely rough. It's got jagged edges. Uh, it also is very porous. That's really where the impact comes into play. It literally gets down into the cracks and crevices, and it's going to pull skin cells, saliva, blood. The MVAC collected 10, 20, 30 times more DNA than what we were getting with swabbing. The standard means of collecting DNA could not give us a profile. Uh, the MVAC did. The cutting edge technology does what investigators once deemed impossible. It pulls a complete DNA profile from a porous rocky surface 18 years after it was left there by Crystal's killer. Investigators entered this new information into the FBI's combined DNA index system, known as CODIS. When an individual commits a felony within the state of Utah, they are required to give a, a DNA buccal swab, which is a, a swab they go inside the, the mouth to have a record of their DNA on file. That is entered into the CODIS system nationwide. This time, the CODIS search returns a match for a man whose name has never before come up in the investigation a convicted felon named Joseph Michael Simpson. 